Hello. This is the third benchmark comparing the Ryzen 1700 8 core at 3 GHz against 8 core Mac Pro also at 3 GHz. In this one, I'm looking into speeds with After Effects. As the first test, I'm using 6K RED footage and stabilizing it with Warp Stabilizer. This is a CPU task, and you can see that CPU load on PC is about 25%, relatively evenly distributed across all 16 logical cores. On the other side, you can see that the load distribution on Mac side is not as even, with half of the cores working at about twice the load. Ryzen finishes in 186 seconds, while we have to wait for 234 seconds for Mac Pro to finish. Mac Pro needs 25% more time. The second test is one of the free templates available to download and is using ray tracing. Since Mac Pro doesn't have NVIDIA GPU, it cannot use CUDA acceleration, which is available on Ryzen system with GTX 1080 GPU. Nevertheless, Mac Pro doesn't fall far behind using OpenCL from built-in two Fire Pro GPUs, finishing in 158 seconds, only 16% slower than the Ryzen CPU. The third test is another freely available template called Rings Template. CPU usage on Ryzen is again around 25%, but weirdly, one of the cores is working at about 80%. Anyway, Ryzen finishes in 99 seconds, and we have to wait for 42 seconds more for Mac Pro. In this case, Mac Pro is 42% slower. Taking into account that Mac Pro today costs $5,600, which is three times the price of the Ryzen workstation, and considering that it is between 15 and 40% slower, that is a quite performance per dollar difference. Mac Pro costs between 3.6 and 4.4 times more than the Ryzen 1700 system for the same performance. So, for the price of one of these Mac Pros, we can build a small 3-node render farm to cut the render time several times. This Ryzen workstation, in addition, can be further optimized by overclocking or swapping the CPU with Ryzen 1800, which has 20% higher clock speed, for $200 more. Another GTX 1080 can be added for $400 more, and it also supports M2 NVMe drives, which are 280% faster than the SSD. That's all for this video. Check the channel to see how the Ryzen performs in other software. And subscribe to see more future benchmarks and time and money saving tips. Cheers.